What's going on everyone? This is Slackerman with another quick figure review. Today we are looking at the uh, Dark Horse Halo UNSC Spirit of Fire 8 inch replica. Now again, I think I've uh, said this in my other Dark Horse model review. I'm not the biggest Halo fan or a video game guy, um, but I do like some of the Halo uh, vehicles, the ships, some of the weapons. Uh, because it reminds me a lot of uh, James Cameron's Aliens. I think that uh, the creators of Halo did borrow a lot from Aliens, so a lot of their stuff is similar. I have been waiting for the NECA Cinemachines, uh, Sulaco and Nostromo to come out, but so far I have not seen any release dates on that. So I saw this ship pop up. It does remind me a lot of the uh, Colonial Marines uh, Sulaco ship. Yeah, this did show up on Amazon, so I figured I would uh, buy it because I did like the other Dark Horse uh, Halo Pelican model. So let's take a look. As far as the box, you get a cardboard box. Uh, inside is a foam, uh, foam box inside that protects the model. So you have a picture of the model on the back. I guess it's from, this ship's from Halo Wars 2. So again, I don't play the games. Then we have another picture of the ship. So. Um, obviously you get a stand. The stand is nicely detailed. You have the UNSC logo, uh, the Eagle, and then you have the actual model itself. I have to say that I am a little disappointed with the paint on the model. The paint on the box and on the promo images looks a lot better than uh, what you get. However, there is a lot of nice details. As you can see, you have a lot of white uh, dots or paint for you know simulating the lights. I do really like the front and back end of this ship. Um, I think the front end is very cool, how it uh, hangs real low. You do have that kind of aliens design in all of the uh, Halo ships with all these kind of antennas and things poking out of the ships. So I think that's very cool, a lot of detail there, a lot of different lights. And then uh, going on to the side of the ship again, I do like the uh, shape of it, very cool. And then of course the back of the ship is really impressive with the uh, blue paint with all the engines. So very cool, a very interesting uh, ship design. There's taking a look at the side, and that potentially could be some uh, hangar doors or bay doors. So again, very cool. You do see uh, Spirit of Fire. You have the UNSC logo on the side, uh, or the bottom, I should say, and then you have it on the side of the ship as well. So overall, I think it is a very cool uh, model to get, especially if you're like me, you like a lot of sci-fi stuff, you're a big Aliens fan or a Halo fan. This does remind me a lot of the Sulaco, kind of similar, uh, similar shaped uh, vehicle or ship, I should, should say. And of course, like I said, I have not seen uh, any release dates for the NECA Cinemachine Sulaco, so this was the next best thing. This is a little pricey though, I think on Amazon it was $40. I don't necessarily think it's worth $40, um, but I am glad I, I have it, though. It's nice uh, die-cast metal, nice and heavy. It doesn't feel like it would break real easily. And what's cool is you can take it off the stand, too, uh, in case you wanted to, uh, you know, play with it or, you know, pose it around with your other figures um, so it doesn't have to stay on the stand. So, uh, overall, if I had to rate it, I'd probably give it uh, three and a half out of five. Um, I just wish the paint was a lot better. It looks pretty dull to me, and especially with the other Dark Horse model I have, the, uh, the Pelican, the paint was really good on that. But again, I am happy I, I do have it. I, I heard that, I don't know if this is true, that NECA is thinking about canceling the Cinemachines line, so I'll be real, uh, real irritated if we don't get uh, at least the Nostromo and the Sulaco from NECA, because I really want a six inch you know, model of those ships. So if that does happen and they do cancel those, at least I do have this. Uh, it is somewhat similar to the uh, Sulaco ship. So thanks a lot for watching for upcoming reviews. I will be doing a Cinemachines review on the Aliens dropship. Uh, it's a figure I've had for a while, or a model I've had for a while, but uh, I didn't have my channel on YouTube. So I figured since uh, I haven't reviewed it yet, that I would review that as well as the other uh, NECA Cinemachines uh, that I have. So stay tuned for those reviews. So again, thanks for watching. Bye.